clock is instead of flicking a switch, just open the door. Um, so first I'd like to talk about uh, a little background and motivation. Um, I have a personal interest in renewable energy sources and uh, of course everyone thinks of solar and wind as energy sources, uh, renewable energy sources, but um, there are actually lots of other methods out there for capturing energy. And so for a senior project I wanted to do something with maybe one of these other methods of uh, capturing energy. So before I get too far, uh, I have to remind you that about this time last year, maybe a month or two before this, in February, uh, we had a big hurricane come through, Hurricane Nemo. It dumped 30 inches of snow and uh, knocked the power out for a full 24 hours. So while the power was out, um, these exit signs, like the one you see there and here, are powered by batteries. Well, after 24 hours, these were all dark. So you're walking around campus, and even inside, all of the lights are out because all of the batteries have died. So I was walking around and I had a little crank flashlight, which you see here, and it just has a little motor in it that you crank and then it turns the light on. So I got to thinking, what if you open the door and that turned the exit sign on or just some kind of light? So that's where this project got started. So I started doing a little research and it turns out any DC motor, which is a direct current motor, uh, will work as a generator. So some current implementations of this technique are hybrid brakes. Um, as you brake, it turns the motor, which slows the car down and then generates energy from that. Windmills and water turbines also use the same kind of technique. And motors working in this way are very, very efficient. So we can get a lot of power that's available there. So a little background on how this works. Um, in electrical engineering, we deal a lot with voltage and current. So voltage is um, it's like a level, and then current is how much is flowing through at that level. So with a typical motor, you put in a voltage, and that gives you a speed, which is usually measured in RPM. And uh, then based on the torque load that you need for the motor, it draws so much current from the motor. So in this case, I'm going to be working that in reverse, using the motor as a generator. Um, so I will be providing a certain speed and that will give me a certain voltage and then based on um, how much current I need to draw for my LED's power, um, that will require, that will say how much torque I need to require. 